Hey, what's going on guys? Riddlenell here, and we're coming back with some more Python tutorials. Let's fire up idle and see what we can do here. We create a uh, new window, as always. File.python Alright, so now let's create ourselves a string variable. I'm going to set this up as self.string. Call this, um, this is a joke. Alright, <clears throat> now the function that we're going to be looking at today is called ljust. So if we try it, self.string.ljust, and we pass in, let's see, what, actually, let's try it in the, uh, let's try it in the interactive shell so we can see more of what's going on here. Let's set up a string variable. This is a joke. And now I've got string dot ljust. And what ljust does is it left justifies. That's kind of why it's called ljust. So if we hit control backspace, well, control backslash, sorry, to uh, take a look at our functions here, uh, take a look at the parameters that we're going to need here, we have width, which is a mandatory parameter. If we run this, it'll give us a problem without it. So and that's going to be an integer for how long it should be, and then we have a fill character, and a character, and that looks like that's optional because the space character is the default. So if we just type in uh, maybe 5 for a width, it's not going to do anything because the string is already greater than 5. So let's try something like a big thing. Let's try uh, 30. This is a joke. And now you can see that it continues onward right after the string up until it gets to the quotation mark, because that means it's the end of the string. And all this has been justified. So all that space characters are set there because that's what you should do. Now you can change this to a fill character, of course. We can set up a plus sign. And now we get all these, and that's going to have the width in total be 30. I, I'm curious whether we could add multiple. Nope. It has to be a character, not just a string. So we have to have a plus sign or anything that's only one character long. So let's give it a go, though. Let's try and recreate this function all on our own. First of all, let's change this to uh, 30, so we can see what we're doing here in our script. If we run this, we get this is a joke, and then all this here is... Let's see if we can select it all. Up until that point where the cursor stops is the string. So let's try and recreate this. Let's do define... Uh, left justify. We'll pass in self and then string to justify. So now what we do is we're going to need, oh, we also need the width and then we need fill care. <coughs> and uh, actually we should change this to Spacebar. Okay. So now if fill character actually if the type of fill character is is not a character or chr I'm thinking that should work. Let's try it. I haven't tested this idea yet, but it'll definitely, it's always worth an experiment. If the type of field character is not a character, then uh, we can just do field character equals character version of field character. Space that out just a little bit. And what I'm going to do here, just for a little bit of debugging or troubleshooting, is print out the field character. So we can, um, Run self dot left justify. We can pass in self dot string, even though we're not going to be doing anything with it right now. We can set up a width to be 30, and then fill character, which by default is a space, an integer is required. Okay, so that's not going to work. So what we can do here instead is if uh, the length of the fill character is greater than 1. We should set fill character to be equal to the fill character with the index of zero or whatever is at that first position. So if we print it out, this is a joke. 
we printed out this space bar here, and we can change this to, let's say, plus sign. And now that works, but what if we change it to a plus sign, the period, and the, and the quotation mark? I'm sorry, uh, question mark. If we change this, it's going to not throw an error at us like the self.string.lJust function does, but instead it will take only that first plus sign. So if we run this, we get that single plus sign. So we've kind of avoided an error here when we built our own function, and that makes things a little bit easier. I suppose. It depends on how you want to be programming. But anyway, let's give it a go here. Let's do, um, we're going to need an integer, so um, we want difference, and that can be the length of the string to justify, and then we're going to want width minus that. So now we can do um, return, let's see, string to justify, and we can add on the fill character repeated by the time by the number of differences we have. So now if we print this out, we're going to get this is a joke, and then we've added a plus sign. So now if we run this up with the top one, and we use our plus sign, oh, this is a joke, lString.justify, that's right, we have to have it inside the lJust function, I'm sorry, not the print function, and then we need our plus sign, this is a joke with all these here, and then this is a joke with all these here. So we have, the, we have the same number of plus signs here, so we find out the difference, and then we multiply that character times that difference that we find, and we add on the string that we're justifying to begin with. So here we are. <laughs> if we don't run this, uh, if we don't put in that fill character, but instead we print out, don't print anything else, we've already got our print function here, but if we add a quotation mark and another one, we can concatenate these on. we can see exactly how long these strings are. If we run this, this is a joke, and this is a joke, and we even have these left justified spaces here. So this is exactly what we wanted. It does the exact same thing, or at least what we think of the exact same thing. We have the same output as the original built-in function. It's simple, it's easy, and all it took is a little bit of math, <laughs> not much any math, not much math anyway, and then we kind of avoided the error with our little fill character thing, and we could test if it's greater than one character, and if it is, we'll switch it to only being one character. So, we're done, guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I hope this made some sense, uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Yeah, bye.